Good Monday. Good morning. I hope you guys had a magical weekend. What did you do in the weekend? Did you prepare for the full moon? Which I believe we do have. Do we? Do we have it in this week? We do! On Friday. That was a bird. Friday. There is actually a video that I recorded. Was it yesterday? I can't even remember. I didn't have the time to edit and upload it, so... Maybe it's up today. <laughs> yeah, who knows. But as always, on Mondays, we tap into the whole week as well. I actually want to take a card specifically for the week ahead, just to see what it's about. And then we will stick to the program. So, uh, yeah. Oh, the Quantum Oracle. I was like, where is the book? What is the energy of the week ahead? Oh, and I am going to pull a card from this. We haven't pulled a card from the secret manifestation cards for a while. And randomly, yesterday I was like, oh, there they are. Anyway, what is the, the energy of the upcoming week? Oh, whoa! Higher self. At the back, I do see the conscious, or the, yeah, a conscious of like which. I think it was the weekend reading, or we got it at some point. So I think that a lot of you guys are out of that now. So fully connected with your higher self and with your dreams and everything. Good on you! That has been a shift. Number two. So maybe there is something about decisions or weighing options. Realizing that you have options, right? Realizing that they, there are there are maybe two pathways, more than one pathway. Where again, in the past or pa last week, past week, last week, I feel there was this energy of maybe not really seeing that there was any options, right? Something, and then now, something has shifted, because you are allowing your higher self to guide you. Yourself. So you also trust yourself when you get messages. I love you to the day that I die. <laughs> what song did I listen to before I recorded? <laughs> I'll give you one moment. <laughs> well, that's actually not the last song I listened to, was it? No, that what is from Billie Eilish. Eilish. <laughs> I cannot even speak. <laughs> Yesterday I watched. Is it Fall Guy? Wow, that movie. Also, just because that. <laughs> what is his name? Ryan Gosling? What's his name? <laughs> he's a part of it. I think he's actually Scorpio, isn't he? <laughs> that is a wild combination. <laughs> he has a hot egg. <laughs> anyway, this card shows a woman's heart. Yeah. You're opening your heart. You're being vulnerable with yourself. Opening up to new experiences. Higher consciousness. Timeless connection. Yeah. You are entering a very intuitive time. So this week ahead is going to be very intuitive. No matter what's happening, you're really being asked to... Well, tap into your heart, but also again, your higher self. Because you always know the answer to your questions. So, stepping into your true self, like mingling with your soul's identity, becoming who you want to become. No more limits, no more confusion, which is nice. You know what it is that you need to focus on now. Maybe some of you guys have, you have been, well, you have been or you have felt astray in a way from your path. You've been confused about you've been confused about where to put your focus. And for now you might just have decided to put your focus on you, because that is obviously where it all comes, right? For some reason it was like, huh. 
There's a book, obviously. Oh, butterfly! Hello! Oh! <laughs> Maybe that's a sign for some of you guys. Oh, it's a butterfly. So, with that high end self card, let's take a manifestation card. I love you to the day that I die. Well, you do love your higher self, yourself to the day that you die. That's true. Maybe that's all you need to tell yourself. I mean, that's how we manifest love, right? By activating our self-love. Which, I mean, to feel worthy, worthy just by you. Now I feel a push on my back again. To feel worthy <laughs> just by you can be hard. And to just feel okay with just being you. You know, it can be hard if you are craving something else. But the way that we manifest what we are craving is by accepting parts of ourselves, the new identity, and allowing old fragmented energy to to release. White. Maybe white is a significant color. <laughs> you are an internal being. Take a look at the world around you. None of it can exist without you. No matter who you thought you were. You now know the truth of who you really are, which actually fit well with the higher self God. You are the master of the universe. You are the here, higher. Higher, higher, higher. <laughs> That's a Sydney Denmark. <laughs> the higher, the higher, hey, hey, I don't know what the hell that is to the kingdom. You are the perfection of life. There you go. I want to shuffle. So let's get one more. Don't try to control negative thoughts. I think that's also very saying. Actually, you know, the white pureness and then the red, because obviously, you know, red is connected with passion, but also anger. And sometimes frustration <laughs> with what we don't have. Um, or with ourselves, right? Especially if anxiety kicks in. And it's this energy of like, I'm not good enough. But you know what? You need to feel good enough. And that is the most important. F what other people think. Okay? No one in this world is perfect. We all have stretch marks and... Uh, what do you call that? Well, maybe not everyone, but, you know, most of us, we do have that. I was trying to find the right word, the American word for... Don't go there, Sandra. <laughs> Rose. Let me say it like that. We all have roles, okay. <laughs> Don't try to control negative thoughts. Don't worry one bit about them. All you have to do is deliberately think as many good thoughts as you can each day and they will cancel out any negative thoughts, which is true. Practice this daily and in short time you will have completely retrained your mind to consist whoa consistently <laughs> generate positive thoughts if you guys haven't seen the fall guy uh, movie um i mean just the story in general is it's a love story but it's like being controlled by negative thoughts and a negative mind can really keep us away from what is most important in life you know, no matter what it is, it doesn't have to be love. It can be if you want to go out there and um, <laughs> and manifest your dreams, right? <laughs> I think the neighbors over there. Well, do I know you? <laughs> oh, 
one was. I don't think it's too glass. Well, I don't have my glasses on either. Sometimes all the windows like cars, mysterious cars, parked out in front. I'm always like, I wish I had my glasses on. Also, if I'm walking with Heidi, I'm like, I wish I had my glasses on. So I could, you know, see who is this? <laughs> who is this suspicious person? <laughs> My 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 mind goes straight to that. I think it's the the Scorpio in me investigating me like this is suspicious. <laughs> it couldn't just be a random person parking, you know. It has to be suspicious. <laughs> anyway, people, that is uh, not it. <laughs> now we are going to uh, <laughs> take tarot and see what today is about. But once again, also. Hey, um, the fool. Also, the way you have. Well, the fool is a lovely card, right? Being ready. <laughs> I was just about to say, packing your bags, uh, <laughs> your travel bag, whatever it is, and going somewhere maybe this week. Yeah. There might be a truth that comes out as well. It doesn't have to be like negative, but maybe like someone is, yeah, I don't know, speaking a truth, speaking the truth. Yes, because that's why I spoke about it because I saw the moon reversed. Yeah, our secrets being revealed again doesn't have to be negative, it can just be like feelings are coming out, feelings are being spoken about. Yeah, at the back, I do see. Um, the nine of cups and also the hierophant and I have another push on my back well thank you it's so strange when that happens because you can feel it's a push like up here um well what I got with that <laughs> is that it might be something about committing to your dreams and desires committing to well whatever it is right it's like I'm gonna do it this is what I want um yeah but let's see what is the current energy for the week ahead or today <laughs> before i turned it around i heard someone say this might be a surprise and i actually had the image of the lovers and what is it it is the freaking lovers 11 um I don't know why I said 11-11 because it was 15-15, but 11-11 apparently. Uh, well, there might be something with a relationship that comes into focus or it's about making decisions, right? Being guided, maybe your higher self is guiding you to make a decision. But for some of you guys, it, <laughs> this is definitely about love. Is this the week of love and romance? Who knows? Uh, I can never find a paper where I have the questions, but I should also remember them. Yeah, the challenge. Let's see. What is the challenge? Two cards. I just want to have one. Well, that is definitely not a challenge. Well, <laughs> we have Gemini and we have Scorpio, by the way. Um, the challenge is rebirth, which, I mean, it. well, let me just say it like this. But the the death card is ruled by Scorpio, and the challenge could be here that there is an energy of being scared of change, but still having this energy of like I want to fight for this, I want to do something with this, I want to do something about, oh I don't want to do something with my dreams, I want to do something about this relationship. Maybe you're trying to fix a relationship or heal a rela relationship, rekindling a rela relationship. If it's someone from your past or someone you're together with now. But there is this energy of like, I want to fight for this. Maybe you will, maybe the challenge is other people. That could be like, you feel like you need to fight other people off. Or you need to fight your um, your own demons off. We do have the king of uh, swords at the back. So maybe you're dealing with a air sign. We had Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Scorpio, Seven of, I uh, can't remember what the Seven of um, Swords is ruled by. Um, <laughs> I just divided and another, yeah. Well, 
<laughs> another air. Maybe, well, there could be energy here of no matter what it is. If it's you trying to manifest something, right? Like, there's a lot of things you want to do. And you want to do it very fast, but at the same time, there's also an energy of, like, struggling with changes or struggling with the change. Struggling with something that needs to change. Right? That could be a challenge. Yeah, there is something here. But someone, I mean, if you're dealing with someone, it's definitely someone who wants to fight for the relationship. But at the same time, there is, with the death card, it's not a negative thing, but maybe one of you are just not good with changes. But obviously, we did talk about something else, speaking about emotions, so maybe some of you guys need to have a conversation. Something week. Definitely do not give up on your dreams, if that is the case here. Maybe there's a boss who wants to talk with you, being like, this needs to change. There's some things here, you know. <laughs> You're like, I don't want to do that. I don't know if I want to do that. <laughs> like, there's most definitely energy here of like, I want this change. But at the same time, there is something, there is maybe a challenge or a compromise that, us, again, if it's about other people, I don't know. There's something. It doesn't feel negative because we have the lovers, but, you know. So, what is the hope? What is the hope? Wow! Well, temperance, Sagittarius. You're guided by a higher self, that is the hope. I think you actually, yeah, I think the human might be the, the challenge in this. <laughs> Either it's you or someone else, if it's again, whatever it is that you're dealing with. Um, the human might be what is struggling <laughs> like the spirit your spirit your higher self um other people's higher self knows what to do but you're definitely being uh, guided it's interesting before we had the king of um of swords now we have the queen of swords at at the back the king of swords so wow <laughs> what are you guys dealing with and also the King of Pentacles. I feel whoever wants to speak with you, I mean, it could be more than one person, but I feel turning from the King of Swords, which can be <laughs> more logic, right? The human logic to tuning into one's emotions and being like serious about something. I feel that is what's happening. And I know people, it's not, for all of you, it's not about love. But, you know, there could be an offer here that's being divinely guided. We actually have another king here. So there might also be passion mixed in with it. <laughs> I, could be, I, could, I could be so sorry, guys. I'm dealing with too many people. Yeah. You know what happens if there's too many, what do you say, cooks in the kitchen? Because the food might be very salty. <laughs> I don't know, but I don't, well, if it resonates with you that <laughs> you're dealing with more than one suitor, <laughs> maybe you're out there dating, you're like, I don't know, <laughs> you know, maybe you're picking and choosing which one it is, but for others of you, I think it's one person, if it's a boss, if it's someone from your family, whatever, like, that comes your way with emotions instead of being logic about things right the temperance is also about faith and uh, destiny so yeah there is a lot of energy here that is for sure but i mean it is connected with hope right what is the outcome here i don't think we can get any more kings no <laughs> what else do we have here okay we have leo energy <sighs> So we have the Five of Wands and Strength card for the outcome. So you guys said something about competition, but, but yeah, 
Maybe that is like, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what you guys are dealing with. Well, the five of, well, actually, let's just uh, break this down. <laughs> let's just take a step back. Let's zoom out, <laughs> okay? Five of Wands. Might be a lot of opinions. There might be not a power struggle, but there might just be something here. Where, well, today <laughs> there might be something. Slow down. <laughs> what is actually happening here? What are we doing here? You know what I think it is? I think also because it is, I have to remember that it's not just today, it's the week ahead. So this could be something that, like, you are getting ready to make a decision for something and maybe you ask someone else for advice and a lot of people, like, you hear different stories from different people, no matter what it is, of different opinions and it just, I feel it makes you even more confused about what to do. So the same if you, if there's some, someone in your life. I don't know <laughs> if they ask other people's opinions or if there is a lot of things going on it might just be confusing in a way no matter what you're dealing with because whatever that is right but the camera stopped i also think this is going to be a very very long monday reading but it is monday have the courage to actually make your own decisions and be like, I'm not going to listen to other people's opinions. And I'm not going to listen to my ego. I'm not going to listen to, again, the fear. I'm going to stand up for myself and make a decision and trust and believe in this. Again, no matter if it's law, if it's um, a decision you need to make. Because it actually makes sense. Maybe you are scared. <laughs> if you're in love with someone, you're like, Damn, it looks like they have a lot of people and maybe they are not interested in me anyway. So you retreat, right? You're like, okay, no, maybe I should not. <laughs> don't get scared. <laughs> don't get scared at that because you probably don't really know what's going on, right? Uh, the same if you want to apply for a new job. You're like, well, maybe I'm not qualified. <laughs> you are probably are the one that they're looking for. But there is a lot of there is a lot of energy this upcoming week. It might scare you a little bit. I think you need to focus on your courage this week ahead and be like i'm brave i am uh, the chosen <laughs> yes it's the last card you are because i saw that i thought that yes look at that two of cups four of pentacles reverse you are letting go of this like i don't know holding too tight on opinions or trying to control uh, an energy, right? Because the four pentacles can be energy of trying to control something. Just let it let it flow. Start out small, right? Yeah. I mean, it takes two to tango, <laughs> right? And we also have the sun, so there's nothing to fear. Well, very interesting um, development for the week ahead. Thank you, guys. With that, I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.